How's it going today guys? My name is Tyler and this is Geekish and we're back with another steaming pile of fresh molten golden chocolate and uh, we're here with one of these trendy videos that all these commentator channels are doing and uh, <laughs> we're going to be watching the uh, Jubilee channel, the 7 people versus 1 who has not um, and this edition is plastic surgery because it was uploaded two days ago and I think I can get this video out before anybody else. But we're gonna jump right into that. What preconceived notions do you have when you meet someone who got plastic surgery? While some people are very comfortable to talk about their experience, for others it is still a taboo topic as they're afraid to be judged by the society. Right off the bat, this narrator's voice, not the easiest to understand. Uh, it's not an accent thing. Accents are great. I love accents. It's just... <laughs> Her English very much flows together. We brought together eight people who got plastic surgery. I 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 got plastic surgery. One of them is a liar. If the group discovers who the liar is, they'll split a cash prize. If the liar survives, they win the entire prize. Who is the odd man out? That's there's the premise. Okay, so we're gonna. I don't. I don't know if they tell you or not, but we're gonna try to sleuth it out and figure this out on our own. I feel like we should say what we've had yeah. done, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. Rhinoplasty. Rhinoplasty. Uh, I had buckle fat removal, and I also got lip fillers. When they would look at me, it was kind of like, okay, like they're like checking me out, like up and down to see like. I think he had plastic surgery. I've had moles removed, and I'm here to remove the moles. Oh. <laughs> uh, I've had top surgery. I've had a rhinoplasty. Rhinoplasty. I had a few. I have rhinoplasty, lipoplasty, and septoplasty. Rhinoplasty is a form of plastic surgery on your nose. Very common ones include removing the dorsal hump, and other rhinoplasties are to remove nostrils or make the entire nose smaller. I think it's her. She's. One, she has a big ass nose like I do, so I don't, <laughs> I don't know about that. Also, she, it's like she was reading off like a Wikipedia page. You know what I'm saying? Like she just memorized that the night before. So I think it's her. How old was everybody when they got their stuff done? Uh, mine was two years ago. Okay. So I think the that first girl has had plastic surgery because a lot of times plastic surgery is an insecurity about how you look for your age and she specifically didn't say her age, she said two years ago. Fucking psychologically evaluated. I got this shit, it's game over, it's Adelaide. I was 18. I was 14. I was 19. I was in middle school. 22. 24. Eight months ago. Yeah. They think it's either choker bitch or fedora girl. Um, no, it's Adelaide. You guys are wrong. It's pretty, like, superficial, but I felt like she just didn't have, like, the look. He said that he got cheek surgery, and, um, I had just never heard of the cheek surgery before. All right, it's a three-way tie. Oh, my God. <laughs> Green, Adelaide, Whisper, and Sage. Oh shit! So each person has 30 seconds to present their case. I was really insecure about how I looked. I used to have chubby cheeks and I had no lips at all. So it was just stuff that made me feel a lot better. And now I feel like I can actually hold my head up high. So it's stuff that I need and also my line of work. In what's, what's, what's your line of work again there, Whisper? I'm a dancer and I was kicked in the face so my septum shifted. I don't think so, bro. I'm gonna be honest, that story seems right, but your nose, like, Look at her side profile, and look at mine. The reason mine's so fucked up is because I broke my nose as a kid and never got it, like, reset. But, like, hers kind of has the same look, you know what I'm saying? You see this little, this little thing here, and she has it, she has it too. So I think, I think it's Adelaide. Yeah, so I have had precancerous screening since I was 10 years old, because my dad died of melanoma skin cancer. So I have had some precancerous moles and I've had them removed via plastic surgery because it can help reduce scarring. Uh, 
Oh shit, bro, they're at him. God damn. So a couple people already did it, but I guess we could go around and say why we got the surgeries that we did. Yeah, totally. Okay. Um, well, I was super insecure about my side profile. I had a dorsal hump, so I've always like wanted a nose with a little slope. <laughs> <laughs> So I had rhinoplasty and septoplasty. It was mainly for breathing. Ah, bro, what if they all had plastic surgery and they're just fucking all of these guys? With Anna, I just, it wasn't obvious um, that she had plastic surgery. She seemed knowledgeable, but it just kind of seemed like she was saying the same things that everybody else was saying. So yeah, I had top surgery, I'm trans. Um, I had very large boobs, <laughs> so <laughs> that's like, I don't want those anymore. So <laughs> that's uh, why I did my surgery. Holy shit. That's a good operation. I had, I, I didn't know what he meant when he said top surgery. I thought, I don't know, maybe like liposuction in the chest, but holy shit, bro. Holy shit. Congrats. I come from a very Italian family, so it was that very stereotypical, like, Italian nose. It was a closed procedure, so they went through the inside, shaved off the bump, um, changed the tip a little bit, and so now I have the sloped nose and all that. Yeah. The amount of girls who had rhinoplasties there, it was one of us. Anna and Miranda gave very, very convincing answers, and Jade's were a little more stereotypical, and honestly, the look of her nose, she mentioned she had a dorsal hump removed, but there was still a little bit of a bump there. I think it's you. There. I'd always been self-conscious of my nose, and I like begged my parents, like, no. No, absolutely not. So I told my parents, how about when I'm 18? They're like, sure, sure. If you still want it when you're 18, we can help you pay for it. And I was like, okay. So when I'm 18, I go up, I'm like, I'm ready. And they're like, oh, seriously? We, we didn't think like you'd actually want that. And I was like, no, I do. So I went ahead and got it. It's definitely Adelaide, bro. This shouldn't even be, she's, she's awful. They're giving her a lot of spotlight time though. I think especially in this environment when everyone could relate to some kind of plastic surgery, it was very non-judgmental. And I think over the years, I've been a lot more like comfortable talking about it. For those of you who had to like pay out of pocket, how much did it end up costing you all? Insurance covered some of it, but my parents did pay between eight and 10K. What was covered by insurance? Um, the f breathing part because okay. my septum was shifted. So oh, I, I, yeah. I get filler put in because there's, the revision didn't fix what it was supposed to fix. <laughs> <laughs> but um, the initial procedure, it was 9,000. How long did you wait before you got the revision? Um, so I got the first one summer before I went to freshman year in high school, and then I got the revision winter break of my senior year. So yeah. Where the fuck did you have nine thousand dollars freshman year of high school? Um, yeah, I paid out of pocket forty five hundred for mine. I always thought you had to have a lot of money to have plastic surgery. And I always thought plastic surgery was cosmetic too. Um, I didn't know that it was also correctional. I was still under my parents' insurance when I did it, and I don't, I don't know actually how much it was. I know it was partially covered because I had the septo and the rhino together. Anna had said some of it was covered by insurance and some of it wasn't. I was just like, mm, okay, but like, how long ago was that? When did you get your surgery? When did you recover? It wasn't quite lining up in my head. I do have my suspicions about Anna as well. I feel like she might, she might be flying under the radar here. No insurance and covered it, and it was 10 grand. Literally since like high school, my first job. Aww. Saved up. <laughs> yeah, little by little. <laughs> That's yeah. a lot saving up. <laughs> yeah. Do you feel like there's a stigma with plastic surgery? Oh yeah. Like in culture that people think that you're vain if you've had it. Oh, oh for yeah. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. Especially like cosmetic reasons. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like, you saved up 10 grand for a nose, bro. Kill them! <laughs> I like how it just turns red. Like, it just gets super aggro super quick. I'm so invested in this to see who it is. I'm gonna be honest with you. Hi, guys. Really? Jade? Really? Holy moly, y'all. <laughs> oh, and Sage. Hers were cancer moles, you guys. What the fuck? What the fuck? 
a lot of people probably don't know about um, cosmetic surgery on moles. Um, I think they saw me mole in and they hate me. Oh, I'm glad she got eliminated. Fuck her. Oh, I hated that. Raise your hand if you think the mole is still in the box and you would like to continue the game. I feel like it's too soon. I, I yeah. do too. <laughs> I don't know what to do. It's Anna. It's 125% Anna. That hesitant hand raise. She's like, no. Well, maybe we should just quit. So who would you say like supported you the most through, like through your recovery? My mom. Yeah, me too. My mom like slept in my room for the whole like first week because I was just in agony and not sleeping. I always say she's like an angel for doing that. Yeah, so. that's how I feel Thanks, too. Thanks, mom. Yeah. <laughs> for a nose job, she slept in your room for a week for a nose job. I did mine behind my mother's back. I didn't want them to know. I didn't want anybody to know. Did you tell other people in your life? Or no, was it yeah, just? Who, not till after, you, because right? I've, I didn't have like as much support going in. I didn't want them to know that I was getting it done. I didn't want them to try to stop me. I just didn't want the negative stigma to convince me not to do it. So it was something I did independently on my own. I fully believe Shannon, bro. Maybe, I don't know. My parents were incredibly supportive. They didn't love that I was getting the surgery at first, especially with like the whole Jewish identity. Making your nose smaller and getting rid of the bump is just like kind of erasing your Jewish culture, which they really weren't pleased with. But once yeah. I got the surgery, they're very loving people, so they supported me. I still really, Adelaide's story does not make sense. So she asked her parents for a nose job. They said no. Then on her 18th birthday, they were like, oh, you really want to do this? And then they said yes, but also she got kicked in the face and that's why she had the surgery? Thus her insurance partially covered it? That doesn't add up. It's definitely totally, I'm sticking with my gut here. I get that about the ethnicity because I'm, I'm half Lebanese and like a lot of people in my family have ethnic noses. Never heard it referred to as an ethnic nose before. Who supported you? Afterwards. My mom, for sure. She's the one who like took care of me. Like everyone knew, but my dad doesn't. Mm. Still doesn't. He does now. This is getting ran through Facebook harder than Prince EA, bro. He's definitely seen this by now. Would you guys say it affected your life in any way? Like changed anything? I mean like confidence, for yeah. sure. Yeah. 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 100%. For me it was just like being trans too. Mm -hmm. Like. Again, I grew up in Michigan and that wasn't a thing. So like it was a coupling with like getting the surgery and also like coming out as trans. But now I'm like, I'm look amazing. I'm like let's go to yeah. a beach or something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you do look amazing, my guy. You really, really do. I think I used to be a little more judgmental with like, oh, like why do you wear like so much makeup every single day? I mean, sick of this. Just tell me who the mole is already. I've been watching this goddamn video for 10 minutes, please. <laughs> Guys. It's a very hard thing to tell. Mine was pretty typical rhinoplasty story, so I was like, okay, well, makes sense. <laughs> it was her. I'm so confident it was her. If the lights turn green, you go to the mall out. If the lights turn red, the mall is still in the box and you lose. Oh, Lord Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> No, please tell me it was Adelaide. I called that so early on in the video. Can the mole please step forward? I knew oh, it! I knew it! I'm like, you're all... Yeah. <laughs> it was Whisper 6? Oh. oh, I was wrong. I was wrong. I was so certain he had had plastic surgery. I don't know, I guess I never really gave his face a good look. Crazy. Absolutely bonkers. Well, congratulations to the four remaining people. Um, I'm happy you got your money. Um, that's super cool. Happy for you there. But we're gonna go ahead and end off there. Um, Jubilee's links will be in the description below. Also, they got a big-ass watermark on their video, so I'm sure you've seen 
that plenty of times make sure to go check them out if you enjoyed this content i actually had more fun than i thought i was going to if i'm being perfectly honest with you um but we're gonna go ahead and wrap up here if you enjoyed the video go ahead and leave a like as well as if you're new here make sure to go ahead and subscribe um i'm really trying to get a channel schedule nailed out here it's really hard doing reactory content i'm gonna be doing some other stuff on the channel too that should add some more add some more to it but um with all that being said i'm gonna go ahead oh as always this video is brought to you by rogue energy make sure to use code geek at checkout for 10 percent off it really helps me and it's the best gaming drink you could get but we're gonna get on out of here make sure you do something you love with your day whether that be using code geek on rogue energy or you know just staying inside and making sure you don't spread nasty shit Boop. <laughs> but with all that being said i'm out of here bye 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 uh, bye, -bye.